Hey everybody, Grady back again at Uncle Sweetie's Model Works. This is my entry into the 2023 NASCAR group build. Uh, yeah, I'm biting off a lot and I'm glad I've got almost a year to do it. So, my kit, you might have seen it in the most recent stash ad, is the Salvino's JR Ross Chastain. This is the iFly version, but the Ross Chastain Camaro. This is sealed, so I'm not going to do, I'm not going to go through the kit in this video. If, if you guys build NASCARs and you're into Salvino's Junior Kits, um, you guys know what's in this box. If you don't, you can look on, you can find a unboxing video by somebody that enjoys doing them more than I do. So, told you guys that this kit has a sentimental, I have a sentimental connection to the Ross Chastain race team. Um, this is going to be, I'm really going to enjoy this build all the way through and what I'm going to do with it at the end. So, I, the, the, the Ross Chastain excitement for the 2022 season was the Martinsville race, the video game move to get himself into the uh, Final Four playoff series. If you saw it, it was an incredible move. If you haven't seen it, it was an incredible move. Google Ross Chastain video game move and watch it because basically it was just un, un it was just something completely new in the world of NASCAR racing anyway in that race uh, his sponsor livery was the Moose Fraternity I am a member of the Moose Fraternity thanks to some very good friends of mine so what I'm doing with this you know I'm gonna do the NASCAR build like everybody else but I found three Amigos decals, and they have the Moose Livery decals. Two pages, of course, and they're kind of hard to hard to see on the background on camera. But it's got all the all the Moose badging and all the Moose logos. You know, be be a Moose. The Moose is such a wonderful thing. Also. These are the scrapes and scratches down the pat the right side of that car after he rode that wall all the way around Martinsville. And I got you saw before or and if you didn't see before, I have two of the car kits. I have two sets of decals. I'm gonna build two of these. And I'm probably gonna do them in tandem. Yeah, I definitely like to bite off a lot. So, the Moose Fraternity. I have one literally two blocks from my house. And it's been there my whole life. When I was little... When I was little, my mom and dad got divorced when I was a very young age. And I didn't get to see a lot of my dad. For, I don't, I don't know why. I don't know who was at fault there. But he went to the Moose Lodge two blocks from my house. And he went there a lot and he was an active member as far as I know. And every time we went by I would look for his truck. Oof. Anyway, many, 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 many years later, some good friends of mine got really active in the Moose Fraternity in a different chapter. They were, they, they brought up the level of participation, the level of opportunities and, and, uh, activities at, at their lodge. Um, 
something changed, and they decided to change their membership to the lodge by my house. And in the process, they basically gifted me a membership. I had never been a member. I'd never been a member of anything like that. And I, to be perfectly honest, I didn't know anything about the Moose Fraternity. I thought it was a place. I thought it was a private club for people to go drink. I was very wrong. It is a wonderful charitable organization that supports a home in Illinois, I believe, for disadvantaged children of all kinds, of all ages. Gets them through school, teaches them about life, and gives them so many opportunities. Uh, the Moose Fraternity also supports a retirement home for senior citizens in Florida. I shouldn't say retirement home, a retirement complex. Um, and, and both of these places are basically all-inclusive. No cost, very, very low cost. Um, supported by the donations of members and the fundraising drives and different activities of the members of the local lodges who contribute to the national organization. Um, the local lodges also contribute to other charitable organizations in their local area. And I am i haven't been very active, but I am proud to be a member. I've fallen on hard times a little bit. So someone in the lodge recently renewed my membership by anonymous donation. And to give back a little bit and to be more active in the lodge, I turned that around, got these kits, got the decals, and my intention is to do a good build video series on my YouTube channel about this Moose Fraternity Ross Chastain NASCAR. And set up in that, that he, he didn't win that race, but with the, the, the graphics and the damage that he did to the right side of that car, qualifying for the final, for the final four championship segment. And when I'm done, one of them is for me. And one of them I will donate to my lodge for them to use as a fundraiser as they see fit. And then whoever, I'm guessing it might be a raffle or a giveaway or whatever it is, but whoever ends up with that model that I built can also come back to my channel and see the documentation of me building it from start to finish. So, yeah. That's why the Ross Chastain race team has... I have a sentimental connection to the Ross Chastain race team. And that is my entry into the 2023 NASCAR group build. And I don't remember off the top of my head who the sponsors are. Fred Henry is one, I believe. And I don't remember the other, and I greatly apologize. But I thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for sticking with me through... <laughs> through me getting emotional. And, man, I really hope I can do this thing justice. Thanks, guys. I'll see you next time.